about Newton's laws of motion. Sir Isaac Newton, the guy with the falling apple? Uh-huh. Didn't he discover gravity? Well, yes, he's also, he's also famous for his laws of gravity, which allows him to predict the force of gravitational attraction between any two objects, as long as we know the masses and the distance between them. Pretty cool. Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> wow, oh, that's pretty neat. He was a pretty smart guy. He even invented calculus. Yeah, he was. What were all his laws of motion? Hey, that's a very good question. Newton's first law is the law of inertia. Inertia, I've heard of that. Inertia is a property, property, property of matter. Yeah, inertia is the tendency of an object to keep doing what it's doing. Huh, so an object at rest will stay at rest. And an object in motion will stay in motion. Until acted on by an unbalanced force. An unbalanced force? See, these two forces are balanced, so therefore she's not moving. If the force on one side is greater than the other, then she'll start moving. So objects with more mass have more inertials. So we need more force to change their motion. Yeah, we need more force to get them going. And also we need more force to stop them moving. Hold on to you. Watch out! Watch out! Get in! Why are we going down to What's Newton's second law? F equals MA. What? Force equals mass times acceleration. Guess what? The more force I apply on an object, the faster it accelerates. Another way to look at it is um, acceleration is a ratio of force to mass. Big forces on small masses cause large acceleration. Small forces on big mass cause small acceleration. And the third law? For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So when I throw a snowball at you, you throw one back at me? Not exactly. Those are two separate actions. So when a snowball comes at me, it applies a force. Ow! And at the same time, my body stops it with the same amount of force. And the forces are equal in magnitude and opposite in direction. <laughs>